Welcome back to Fonzie Shoots. Today we're going to be talking about the Edge Evolution CTS-2. Thanks. So I'm going to tell you about my uh, Edge. This is the Evolution CTS-2. Uh, California compliant. So I just got this Edge. Let me turn the key on so you can check it out. <clears throat> I just oh. it takes a second for it to boot up, but uh, I just wanted to give a little bit of a review on this Edge Evolution CTS2. Uh, this is the California compliant one. Oh, I guess I gotta turn it on. Uh, Edge, yeah. So I was looking for something to give me a little bit more get up and go, I guess. Um, but at the same time, I wanted gauges, but I didn't want to do the uh, pillar mount. So I went with the CTS-2. Um, it overall. It's pretty all right. Um, so at least on this 2008 6.7, it doesn't come with an actual EGT gauge, so I gotta drill and tap my manifold. So that's gonna be on the way soon. Um, it does have a couple sensors in the uh, exhaust. So I've got DPF in the top left, um, DOC, middle right. And then I just got a couple transmission on the left, fuel rail pressure, bottom left, transmission temp, bottom right. Uh, you know, just a normal layout. Um, yeah, so the Evolution, I guess, has, uh, at least this one, if I can remember right, it's got four levels to the uh, power level. So zero stock, of course. Um, one is towing, two is fuel economy, which is what it's on now, three is performance, and four is extreme. So I've had this on here for about a week. Um, it, the install was really easy. I mean, you don't have to really do anything except for plug it into your OBD2. Um, as you can see, right there. And then all I did was pull this little kicker panel out. Sorry, give me a second here, guys. <clears throat> I just pulled this kicker out, this little side cover, and then ran the wire up in between there. You can kind of see, huh? And then back to the edge. So far, I mean, there's little issues, not issues, but little things that I didn't like. The throttle was kind of laggy in stock form. The transmission shift was kind of weird with the 68 RFE. So I know these transmissions are kind of weak, so I didn't want to add a whole ton of horsepower. So just with this, uh, at least on the fuel economy tune, is insane. I mean, the throttle lag is gone. Uh, the transmission shifts a whole lot better. I know I haven't driven it very far or very long, but just... Uh, on the freeway, cruising at 70, at least a little lie meter. It says uh, 15.1 now. But cruising on the freeway at 70, it was telling me I was getting over 20 miles to the gallon, which I'm not so sure it's exactly that, but it very well could be on a long road trip. If I'm careful, I can see it getting 20. So it takes a second when you first start your truck up. It won't come on key on. You've got, got to actually start it. So this is the layout I've got right now, at least in the meantime, till I get an actual EGT gauge. But you'd be surprised at how hot these things get in stock form. Um, I've seen the DPF and DOC go well above 1200 degrees, just cruising on the freeway, just grocery getting on the freeway, casually driving, way hot, fuel economy takes a dive. But yeah, I mean, gauges are, I don't know. At least for me, they're a must, just to know where you're at while you're driving, make sure 
if for some reason you got a cooling issue. I mean, you've got the, the dummy gauge, but I'd rather see where we're at exactly versus a full sweep gauge, you know? Um, and just having the ability to clear a check engine light if you're on a road trip is really nice. The tunes, because this is an OBD2 setup, uh, you gotta kinda key on, key off, key on, and it takes about uh, five to 10 minutes, I'm gonna say closer to 10, to change between tunes. Same with if you have a check engine light and you have to clear it. But I mean, if you're stuck in the middle of nowhere and you gotta get rid of a check engine light, I mean, this is really, really helpful. One of the things I kinda don't like about it is the whole sticky mount. Here in California, it doesn't get all that hot. But I noticed the other day I came out to the truck and it was laying on the dash. No big deal. Just you got to gripe about something if you're posting on to YouTube, right? One more thing I wanted to talk to you guys about with uh, the edge is at least the one I got. Uh, sorry about that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Is actually carb compliant. So with me being in California, I got to keep this thing happy with carb, you know? So overall, if you're considering getting gauges, I highly recommend looking into the edge just because of the versatility it gives you. If you're looking for tuning to possibly get rid of some throttle lag, it's definitely a good option. If you like what you saw, I know I'm kind of new to this, but please consider liking and subscribing. We all start somewhere. If you have anything specific that you'd like me to review or look into, Leave a comment below. Thanks and have a great day.